oak branch with leaves and acorns. This is the acorns. This is the first attempt. It was a half inch rivet that I just rounded the bottom on. I think it could pass if it were a little stubbier. But it was really, really hard to grind it on a grinding wheel. I think a belt sander probably would have been better if I were to do it this way. I was just trying to put a little bit of brassy color on the top just to see if it would rub off. Now this attempt, um, I upset the ends, the big ends, and then put them in my die to kind of shrink the diameter of the rest and then grind the bottom. This was the hardest one to do. Didn't really work out very well. I mean, a little cleanup work, file work maybe, but it took quite a while to grind them. I couldn't hold them. It's just a little, little bit of what I was doing. In case you want to try it. I think there's just two flat dies in there. Reduce the radius. There might be a round. Looks like there's that uh, looks like they're round. That's been three weeks since I did this, so don't remember a whole lot. <laughs> Just try now. Those look. Are those flat or round? I think those are flat. Oh. Yeah, they're flat because I can roll that pretty good. Just trying to take the marks out of it. It just kind of ends up looking too much like a rivet. Press on, press on. Yeah, I don't know. A belt center probably would have been able to do something. So I stick them in a Another die here, round the edges over. Try to clean them up a little bit. Now this is the third attempt. Now I just make a, a little heading tool. It's like your your rivet domer. Put a nice dome on the end of the rivet. At this point, I tried drilling that with my hand drill, and it was impossible. 
I couldn't put enough pressure on it. So I had to take it to the garage. It's just mild steel. But, uh, took a little effort. Is one inch square stock and I think there we are after going to the drill press so same thing I'm gonna upset the end but I'm gonna use this nice little die here And that should give it more of a shape that I want with less grinding because after all the object is to grind as minimal as possible so I know that it works Heating up some steel right now. Got a chance today to try out my new coal. Very impressed. Very impressed. That Kentucky Blue Anthracite has all the properties that I would want in a coal for blacksmithing. Um, she cooks up nice and fluffy. It burns with a nice steady heat and I don't even need to throw the air in there once it's coked. For some reason, I think it burnt tonight. It burnt for like two hours. But I came back out to the shop to see. I was just trying to cook up some stuff. And I, I threw a couple chunks on the fire instead of letting it die out. Well, that was the point, to let it die out. But at the same time, to make some coke. And I came out, I threw a cover over top of it. Two hours later, and it was just beautiful, big, fluffy, light chunks of coke. Compared to that stuff I bought last year at Tractor Supply, I want my money back. Plus, it's cheaper. $100 cheaper. Okay, there you get serious. You see it's starting to put a little lip on there, which is... What I was hoping so 
So it's starting to get that that nice hat that the acorns have. And I just rotate it around a little bit. Just kind of get all around and squish it. Hey, I'm doing better. Not too long ago, I would have just grabbed it and then screamed. I think rotating it around like that did the best job at, at, at making that hat come down and just gently come over. Yeah, that's right. Acorns have hats. <laughs> That's my um, punch tongs. I figured if they can hold a punch, I'll put them to use as a small hot bar holder. You can see that it is upsetting too. I was kind of hoping I could get that dome over before it really did much upsetting, but I think in the end, it worked out really well. All I really should have done was make another one of those for the other end. But just like when you're doing a rivet, you want both ends to look the same. Time was a wasting. Um, all together. Before. I think I made five acorns. Two groups of two and one of one. I never did make a little one. I wanted to make a little tiny one. This is the type of tool I can live with in Matt. Put a hole there. I don't mind if it spins around. In fact, it's desirable. If I knew how to make that block spin on its own, which it did a few times, I just don't know why or how. It's just one of those things where I don't care if it does, rather than using one of the hardy holes. Plus you get a more solid hit. There's 10 inches of solid steel underneath that.
think by the time I, I think I can get I get two maybe three rivets or rivets acorns out of that thing by the time I'm done the other end is pretty darn close to being an acorn in fact I think I used it specifically for that purpose I suppose I should make a pair of round stock tongs. I always stopped at V because, well, V will work, but I do enough with round stock that I don't think it would hurt to have a dedicated pair. I just hate having 12 pairs for something. You know, oh, you need eight of these. There's seven different sizes of these. Poppycock. Yeah, look at that end just turning into a mushroom on the other side. You can pretty much have the cap down at that point. There's just a tiny, tiny, tiny flat on it before it drops away. And that's pretty much what I wanted. I actually wanted something a little more round on the sides. But I won't argue. Somehow it worked out. Oh, also, yeah, it's another thing that I found out. If I take them big old uh, tongs I got there for punches, and I hold that thing pretty darn far down, like hold it where it's still red hot, I can slow down the... the the, the bending when you're when you're trying to upset and you get that darn bend I can I can almost control it a little better so I was kind of thinking why not make a pair of tongs uh, and of course you know to have the round contour in it like like that but longer like say it, it would hold it uh, an inch of stock would fit in it comfortably like you know you're picking up your stock <clears throat> and instead of what that's that's like a half inch make it an inch or even two inches make it heavy so it's not going to bend and then clamp that baby on there and as you're 
as you're upsetting it, it would help prevent the warping. It's not going to stop it. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I do this enough. Um, let's see, what else could you do? Um, a round, round would be best, but then you would have to make it in quite a few sizes, right? Or at least the sizes that you're going to upset the most all the time. But you could make a pair for rivets. You just have to... Most people, though, take longer stock when they do a rivet. So after grinding, this is what I get. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, I did make a little one. Eh, it's not as little as I wanted, but... That fell out as I was heating up. I won't call them nubs, but they were acorn nubs. Um, the same kind of concept I used for um, making nubs for the leaves, I had to make nubs for the acorns. Because apparently, according to the master branch, they were kind of coming out of little nubs. So what I did this time was, uh, instead of cutting quarter inch stock, I just laid down some weld and made like a little nub and then drilled through it. Remember, when you're doing that soldering, if you've never done it before, give that time plenty of time to cool down before touching it. Because if you touch it as it's cooling and it looks like it's kind of broken free, but then it looks like, oh, it's, it's okay, it's still sitting there. It's not. You want to make sure that's a solid bond. Didn't take much either to fill up them little, the little nubs. They weren't holding a whole lot. Of but the leaf ones, yeah, the leaf ones had at least two and mostly three uh, stems going in it at the same time. Now, I, some of the acorns had two, but they were, they just fit better, smaller. I actually just drilled a smaller hole. I think that's the leaf nub. The leaf that fell out when I heated the uh, branch. Fortunately, those sat there on their own. I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to hold them. That's ideal. A 
lock them in place. I hope this was informative. I, I, I watch it, you know, if you do it and then you watch it, there are things you see and things you don't see. And I know when I watch videos on something that I've never done or something I'd like to do, I don't, I don't mind seeing all the details. And I, I have left details out of this. Just they ended up on the cutting room floor. Just too long. I wish they could have been longer. Here we go, Mr. Impatient. So if you can tin the lead and tin the hole, and if you can get the lead to fit in the hole and everything to sit still, that is ideal because then you just come back, heat it up, tell the, the solder flows, and then just put a dab and connect them. Now all I was doing there was I was trying to create a heat sink so it didn't... Um, the heat didn't travel up the wire and also melt the solder holding the wire in the acorn. Hold still. Hold still. Where's your third hand? Ah, uh, you're moving too much. That, that's what you get. Yeah, that's it. Grab it. I'm sure it's not hot at all. Oh, and it just so happens that the leaf that fell out is right next to the acorns. This has got to be a quick heat that doesn't travel very far. Why did I put it there? I don't know. Nature. Think about it. Ah, let's get the smaller torch. I don't I don't know if that was if that worked or not. That small torch is great for small localized heat. It can put a lot of heat in a really small spot, pinpoint spot. But for something like that, you gotta heat up your steel. I don't know. I mean it was already warm, so It was risky. I, I pictured the acorns falling out many times in that 15 seconds. I need to come up with a backdrop so I can see my finished product. Now, if I'd have been thinking, I'd have put them in that location. I'd have put the leaves and the acorns on, but not the branches. And then I would have, I don't know, copper plated everything? No, that would have been a waste. I think you wouldn't have seen anything. 
was copper plated. It all looked like one big mess. Now, this being a branch, you know it's got to be horizontal. And it just so turns out that everything. Thanks for watching.